three MPs, Haruna Idrisu, Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa, and Mahama Ayariga, sat through two hours of proceedings with the hope that the implementation of e levy will be halted. Lead counsel for the minority members, Godwin Edujitamaklo, argued same, insisting in court that an irreparable damage would be caused to Ghanaians if e levy continues. He added that only 136 MPs were present and passed the e-levy bill in Parliament, which despite the records being corrected to 137, still fell short of the constitutionally required 138 MPs. But Attorney General Godfrey Dame opposed the application, urging the court to dismiss the injunction stating the minority had failed to provide factual statistics on the events of parliamentary proceedings on March 29. After hearing both parties, the seven-member Supreme Court panel presided by Justice Amegacha delivering the ruling further directed the Ghana Revenue Authority to keep accurate records of the amounts deducted. Though disappointed the injunction was dismissed, Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu had this to say about the directive to the GRA. What is refreshing and heartwarming today is the second part of the ruling, which gives directives to the Ghana Revenue Authority to preserve and keep the money. At least some people will not be in a rush to collateralize it until the substantive matter is determined. For us, we raise this matter because it's of public interest significance, it's of constitutional significance, and we think that we'll pursue it to its logical uh, conclusions. Attorney General Godfrey Dame expressed satisfaction to the ruling. There's no revenue collection agency in the world which does not keep records. So really the requirement for GRA to keep records is borne out by their statutory obligation. That is what they do. And that's what they so so if, if there was anything that the minority got today was an affirmation of what GRA does, that they should they should keep records. That is all. Apart from that the entire application was dismissed and there's nothing inhibiting GRA from collecting um, all monies as a result of the ELV Act. There's also nothing preventing the government of Ghana from utilizing the revenue for the development of the country. Nonetheless, governments will be required to file its defense in the substantive case, which is still pending. Other justices on the panel were Justices Prof. Ni Ashikote, Mariama Owusu, Getru Tokonu, Yoni Kolendi, Lovelace Johnson, and Prof. Henrita Mensa Bonsu. Lordi Rasari, TV3 News. Okay.